I didn't know about reality story before, but I'm glad because I was able to go into this process with an open mind. I didn't look at reality as a headline. I just looked at reality as a human. Let's show you who we are. Okay. Here we are with a feature film based off of that original interrogation. For me, it was basically turning the worst day of my life into something like this, into something that is kind of a vindication. This is about a uh, possible mishandling of classified information. So I actually got sent the audition, and once I found out that it was the actual transcript from the interrogation, I really wanted to be a part of it. So I got to meet with Tina, the director, and work with her and workshop the scenes together. So would you like to talk here or talk, uh, talk at the office? Sydney was such an exciting development in this project. I, of course, had seen Sydney on Euphoria, and I'd seen White Lotus, and I was a fan, but it was getting to talk to her, and she was so real and warm and super smart and had taken in who reality was already. My big plan is to deploy as a pasto linguist and be in Bagram for a bit. It's impressive. Her tight-knit family with her mom and her sister. Sydney really had references to that in her own family. It was that conversation that first made me um, think, this person has a heart for this that's really right and, and gets something intrinsic. We have a warrant. Would you like to see it? Yes, please. OK. I was so intimidated. Here's this beautiful young woman, and I just thought that's not me <laughs> until we started Zooming. So a lot of it was me learning about her history and her memories because that's what I love to do with my characters is build their entire memory book. I've never really dove into playing a real life character like this before. And I wanted to try and embody and get into her thoughts and her mind as much as possible. So we just talked about life and we talked about our love of dogs. We could find all those commonalities between us. It gave me so much more confidence and I really have so much faith in her. 125 pounds, you guys. Flatter me. That was on your driver's license. That's right. OK, well, I lied. <laughs> Don't we all? I really wanted to observe how she moved when she spoke, what her eye contact was like, how she moved her lips. And that was a lot of the Zoom that I was subconsciously just taking in. I'm trying to deploy. I'm not trying to be a whistleblower. That's crazy. I was very afraid of being portrayed as ultra feminine. I have a lower voice. I lean against things. Essentially, the performance is a long form emotional close up. What Sydney is doing to slowly like move that emotional needle for this character, like in little cheek quivers, it's incredibly powerful and moving. Am I going to jail tonight? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? That's what I loved so much about this movie and about Tina's work, because she allowed the camera to just observe my thoughts and my feelings and my eyes and allow whatever was happening in that situation to move my performance.